Hi, my name is Amy and my company is called Grey Matter Collection. Grey Matter is a line of adaptable, cozy, cold weather accessories that feature my signature oversized weave. The line includes multi-way scarves and shawls, effortless cowls, adjustable coverage fingerless gloves, cozy chic headbands, and leg warmers. Basically everything you need to keep you cozy all fall and winter long and even spring because it can be unpredictable. Each piece is my original design made by me from my home studio in Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Each piece is hand cut, hand woven, and sewn together one by one. You may have noticed a progress bar on the bottom of this video. Feel free to jump around to any section if there's a piece that catches your eye. Otherwise, keep watching and I'll tell you a little bit more about each piece. I began this business when my twins turned one and it was a creative outlet for me and something other than babies. I had a spare piece of fleece and I experimented with an oversized weave. I instantly fell in love with the herringbone texture and later discovering the weave's ability to be styled in various ways by threading the scarf anywhere through the weave. They were made from really soft, cozy, and warm fleece. A great alternative to wool, especially if there's any allergies. First step, fingerless gloves. Call it a fingerless glove, arm warmer, hand warmer, Texan glove, sleeve, gauntlet, or commuter glove, whatever you call it. These are the ultimate in coziness adaptability. Simply slip your thumb anywhere through the weave's multiple thumb holes and customize the length of coverage over your fingers. More when it's chilly and less when you need your fingers free. And when you need the full use of your hands, wear them as a sleeve and never lose just one glove again. If you're not committing to being outside and are just traveling to and from home, office, grocery store, gym, these will keep you covered. More or less, that's up to you. Moving on to scarves. I have three different kinds or sizes of scarves. There's the Embrace Shawl, the Explore Scarf, and the Create Cowl. The first is what I call the Embrace Shawl. It's the largest of all the scarves, and it's a complete compliment grabber. Year after year, I have ladies who come to tell me all the compliments they've received because of this shawl. It's meant to be worn over your coat and is an excellent piece for spring and fall, as you can grab a lighter jacket and a nice chunky shawl to keep you cozy. Now let's talk about the weave. This is where we get to have some fun. It was that first time when I was trying on the scarf that I realized that not only the nice aesthetic look of that textured weave is what caught my eye, but I soon quickly realized is that I could just grab any part of the scarf and just tack it through the weave and position it into place. So I didn't need any pins or brooches or snaps or Velcro. I could just take corner, any corner of the scarf, usually work well, Pull it through, if you find it's falling out, just double tack it down into place. And you can customize it however you want to wear it. Cowls, wraps, just over the shoulder, loosely down in front of you. You can create a whole bunch of different looks just by threading the scarf through itself and using the weave at any point. This is one that I like for winter time when it gets super, super cold and I want to be cozy. I'll do it short on the one side, creating that nice triangle in front and then I'll wrap it all the way around. Grab this corner and I can tack it into the hoop of the scarf. So I just pull that little piece through and I'm all nice and wrapped and cozy. And then the other thing I can do, I can also make a mini hood. So just grab that top layer completely hood it up when I want to be extremely warm and cozy. The Explore Scarf and the Embrace Shawl are exactly the same length, it's just the width that's different. The shawl is a little bit wider for your shoulders, can wrap you around, give you that extra comfort. And the scarf is a little bit slimmer, it doesn't have as much volume, but you still have all the tackability and the styling capabilities. I find that ladies like to pick the scarf when they really want to customize how cozy they want to wrap it. They can really sort of wrap it around tight if they'd like, but it doesn't have as much volume as the Statement Embrace Shawl. You can still tack it in the exact same way. 
You can just take a corner at your waist on the outside edge of the scarf, tack that corner through. This is great if you're just sort of walking around in the winter and you need to open it up a little bit, not be so wrapped up, right? And you can just wear it like nice and long, right? Create that nice little line sort of at the waist. And then we also can do that wrapped up versions, but it's just on a smaller scale. So again, that triangle short on the one side and take the length of the scarf, wrap it all the way around. And then I'm gonna just take that end and I can either two ways, tack the ends together. All right, I'm just feeding my fingers through there like that. It's kind of cute. And it also comes with a macro fringe. I did that with the scarf size, but not on the shawls, just for a little bit extra fun, make it a bit different. Or you can tack it into the hoop of the scarf. I like to go underneath as opposed to over top, just because it tends to tack it down a little bit nicer. And then if you find that's falling out, Grab another part of the scarf and then just feed that through. And then you can kind of mini hood it as well, right? You can bring that up in the back, create that coverage or bring it down. And now for the Create Cowl. This is the smallest of all my scarves and this one was designed with ease in mind. I didn't want you to have to do anything to this one. Where you get to have some fun and style and create your own looks with the Embrace Shawl and the Explore Scarf. The Create Cowl, this one, is meant to be easy. It's sewn together, so there's no snaps or buttons um, or Velcro or anything like that. Meant to be easy. I didn't want you doing a thing with it except for pulling it over your head. It's a pullover. It's a circle scarf. So it just goes over the head like that. The marker of the logo at the front so you know sort of where to pull that over. This is a asymmetrical collar that you can either keep up when you want to get a little bit more cozy or you can just sort of roll that one down like that so it's on the outside. Or you can also tuck that little piece inward as well. And just sort of roll it in if you want it to look like that. And you get that nice woven texture. It's smaller size so it just sort of fits where your coat isn't naturally when it's sort of opened and just zipped up. And the other thing that you can do is we can roll that collar out again and roll this section out. Not a ton of versatility with this one, but meant to sort of be easy. And we can also scooch this one off to the side for a slightly different look. Bring that point out to the, the edge there. And I've also had ladies wrap it around and it kind of has a faux infinity look. So you kind of get that double looping action there. Three ways meant to be one but we can always find different options. I also call this one my indoor outdoor skirt. In the winter time when it's a little bit more chilly I find this one is great for just around the house. It's not too heavy and again it has that nice lightweight action because of the fleece and when you're leaning forward it doesn't sort of fall in front of you or get in your way or a loop that you're having to deal with or anything like that. It just stays nicely in place. Great for school pickups if you're going to and from the grocery store need something quick. I have twins at home so we need to get out the door real quick in the morning. I don't have a lot of time to fuss. Gotta get some stuff done over the head, out the door. Some call this one the Scarf for Dummies or for the Scarf Wearing Challenged. So if you like the look of this, but you're maybe a little intimidated or worried about styling it the right way for the scarf or the shawl, this is a great option because it's easy, takes the work out for you. Still have that beautiful, gorgeous weave and looks like you put a lot of work into it, but all you did was put it over your head. Of all my three scarf sizes, I often go for the big shawl when I wanna be super cozy. I feel like that's probably the most versatile because you can do all the styling and you get the most coverage, or you can slim it down depending on how you style it. And then I love my cowl as well because it's just easy. When I don't have to think about it and I want something quick, easy, light, it can fit underneath a coat, an extra layer of warmth, or you can put it over top and to cool it down a little bit. My Cozy Chic Wander Headband. It has a lovely textured weave on the front and then on the back it's cinched. So it's just pinched there and that's just so it's not bulky on the back of your head. What I actually love the most about this headband is that it's made out of fleece. I find that if I wear hats or headbands that have just like a little bit of wool or a little bit of an itchy material, I get that itch stop two seconds after wearing it. But this one has that nice soft cozy fleece. There's a two layers, a double layer of fleece to keep you nice and cozy and warm. 
and it just blocks all the wind out. It's super comfortable to wear. Nice coverage on the ear. Nice, nice wide band. And then it's also cinched at the back. So it's not bulky on the back of the head. Kind of hugs the head nicely. And alternatively, you could turn that around and wear it the other way as well. Sometimes I'll even do a half and half. Thank you for visiting my virtual shop today. If you have any questions, please email me at amy at graymattercollection.com or you can follow along with some more coziness on Facebook and Instagram as well as my Etsy shop and my website.